following the debacle over Dominic Raab uh, being off last week, I can tell you that the minister responsible for Afghanistan in the Foreign Office, which is Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon, was also on leave last week as Kabul fell to the Taliban. Uh, you can see him here. He's been in his post for four years. He's a minister of state for South Asia and has been following developments in Afghanistan, including the peace talks, for uh, the past year or more. He was away on a staycation last week, um, bringing more questions about the Foreign Office's readiness for that lightning Taliban advance on Kabul. But it also raises an important question about why, when Dominic Raab did not make the call to the Afghan Foreign Minister on Friday afternoon, and it was instead delegated, we hear, to Zach Goldsmith, who is the Minister for the Pacific, and also splits his time with the Environment Department. And in fact, of course, that call was never made. Uh, why uh, Lord Ahmed was not asked to make that call as uh, Hanif Atmar, the Afghan foreign minister, is someone who he has dealt with uh, a lot over the last couple of years. So more questions about the Foreign Office's uh, readiness and response uh, to uh, the Taliban advance in Afghanistan, uh, raised by uh, the fact that Lord Ahmed was also absent. Um, now, I've had a statement from the Foreign Office, which I can give you on this. Uh, a spokesperson said, Lord Ahmed has been working closely with the Foreign Secretary and the FCDO team throughout the response to events in Afghanistan, including engaging with international partners. And I understand that uh, although he, since he was in the UK last week, he was uh, following this closely and was also working on cases raised by MPs of people, Brits and Afghans who were stuck in Afghanistan and needed to get out. So if he was working uh, on that last week, questions raised about why he was not asked to make that call, uh, which critics say uh, could have got the ball rolling on some of the evacuations um, that we've seen happen so chaotically over the last uh, few days or so.